Hi, I'm Nathan from Py3G and today we have a special project for you. We are going to show you how to build your own VR glove. The glove will be based on a Raspberry Pi Pico, a MCP3008 ADC, 5 flex sensors that you can even build yourself and some basic electronic components. We are going to give away 5 MCP3008 analog to digital converters, so stick around all the way to the end to learn how to enter the giveaway. First, you need 5 flex sensors. You can buy these online for around $10 a piece, but you can also build them yourself and it is not that difficult. We have a video that shows how to do that. But for this build, I substituted the aluminum foil for some copper tape and the internal paper strip for some velostat. I made the velostat and the copper strip as thin as possible to increase the resolution of the sensor. Also, I soldered on a voltage divider circuit. On one end I soldered on a red cable to indicate that this is where the power needs to go in. On the other end I soldered on a yellow cable, which is where the data comes out. And I soldered on a black cable with a 330 ohm resistor at the end, which needs to be connected to ground. The next step is to connect the MCP3008 to the Raspberry Pi Pico. So to connect your Raspberry Pi Pico to the MCP3008, first put both of them on a breadboard. The orientation is very important. I got the micro USB of the Pico to the right side and on the MCP3008 you can see a dot, which indicates the top left corner. So first we take the ground pin on the right side of the Raspberry Pi Pico, which is pin number 3, and connect it to the negative line. Then we take the fifth pin on the right side of the Pico, which is the 3.3 volts out pin, and connect it to the positive line. The first two pins of the MCP3008 need to be connected to the positive line, and pin number 3 and pin number 8 need to be connected to the negative line. The remaining four pins are for the SPI interface. Pin number 4 on the right side of the MCP3008 is the serial clock pin, which you need to connect to pin number 4 on the left side of the Pico. Pin number 5 needs to be connected to pin number 6 and pin number 6 needs to be connected to pin number 5. Finally, pin number 7 on the MCP3008 is the chip select pin, which you need to connect to pin number 7 on the Raspberry Pi Pico. If you are struggling to set up the MCP3008, then we have a separate video that shows how to connect it to a Raspberry Pi, and this is really similar to connecting it to the Pico. As always, we have put links to all resources in the description below. Once all the connections are in place, it's time to set up the software. Download CircuitPython for the Pico directly from the CircuitPython website. You can choose any language that we want, and it comes with a lot of pre-installed packages. Sadly, the MCP3008 library is not included, so we need to install it separately. Navigate to the libraries and click on the link that leads to the library's documentation page. From there, you can download all kinds of useful CircuitPython libraries, but we are interested in the CircuitPython MCP3XXX library. You can find it under the I.O. expansion libraries. Click on the link and then scroll all the way down and click on download. This will lead you to the GitHub page and you need to download the zip file that contains MPY in the name, which stands for MicroPython. Connect your Pico via USB while holding down the boot cell button and then drag and drop the circuitpython.uf2 file onto the Pico. The Pico will remount as a flash drive called CircuitPy. Then you need to extract all files from the MCP3XXX library and copy the lib folder onto the CircuitPy drive. Open the link to our GitHub repository from the description below and download the code.py and hand.blend files. Then copy the code.py file onto the circuit.py drive to complete the setup process for the Pico. Download and install Blender, which is an open source 3D modeling software. You can find the download link in the description below, but there's lots of videos online that show how to install Blender. Blender comes with its own Python version, so we need to manually install the Pi Serial module, which we need for the USB serial connection between the Pico and your PC. After Blender is installed on your PC, open a console and change into the directory where Blender stores its Python version. To install Pi Serial under Windows, run dot 
backslash bin backslash python.exe minus m ensure pip and then dot backslash bin backslash python.exe minus m pip install pyserial. Then open the hand.blend file in Blender. Now all that's left to do is to connect your flex sensors to the MCP3008. Connect the red line to power, the black line to ground and the yellow line to one of the channels. The Blender script will read the channels 0 to 4 to control the fingers. Connect the data cable of the thumb to channel 0, the index finger to channel 1, the middle finger to channel 2, the ring finger to channel 3 and the pinky to channel 4. Reconnect your Pico to the PC over USB and it will mount as a USB drive and start to send the data over USB serial. Then execute the Blender script to see your VR glove in action. If you want to join the giveaway and win a MCP3008, then all you need to do is to like this video, subscribe to our channel and comment what you would do with your MCP3008. So that's it for today. If you enjoyed the video then make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel as we will post videos like this on a weekly basis. Also check out our store by zero to pick up everything you need for your Raspberry Pi projects.